what's up everyone, Simeon Krosky back with another video and today is going to be another highly requested topic. Um, this is something that also I was very interested in um, and I wanted to know more information about before I went to boot camp and that is how hard or how difficult and what does swim qualification consist of in Marine Corps boot camp. Um, so that's going to be the main topic I go over today and I'm going to share my personal experience of how I reacted to uh, swim qualification and how I performed. Um, and all the information you need in order to be successful. So um, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So I'm gonna be sharing my personal experience and also explaining the swim qualifications for Marine Corps Boot Camp and exactly what you should expect and exactly what I went through. So um, first of all, um, swim qualification is pretty early on in Marine Corps Boot Camp. It's at the very beginning stages of, I believe, the second phase or the end of first phase. So this part is gonna be when you're really stressed and you're just now adapting to um, boot camp and the entire environment of getting screamed at constantly. So this is gonna be, you're gonna be nervous. Um, you might overreact about swim qualification even if you're a good swimmer. So this is um, kind of a hectic part of boot camp. Um, I'm not really that great of a swimmer, to be honest. And um, But the main part for me that really was terrible is I have terrible vision and obviously I couldn't wear my glasses. I can't wear contacts, what I have now um, during swim qual. So not being able to see anything was really the most difficult part for me. So, but I'm gonna first go over the qualifications and then explain my experience as well. So um, let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, the first thing you're gonna do that's actual qualification of testing is going to be, you're gonna jump off of a 15 foot diving board Obviously you're not gonna dive, you're just gonna jump into it vertically and you're going to swim 25 meters. Um, I believe it's 25 meters, I don't think it's 50, but you some people, if you have that information, go ahead and double check and let me know. I believe it's 25 meters, like half of the pool and that's gonna be your first test. And then the second one, um, second or third, I don't know if it's a specific order, but you're gonna to have to be able to tread water and also remember, this is all done in full boots and camis, like your full gear. Um, not full gear, but camis and boots. Um, it's gonna be weighing you down a lot more. It's gonna be a lot harder to swim when you're uh, wearing this gear. So you're gonna have four minutes of treading water. Now, the key to this is they're gonna teach you a way that you can blow up your blouse, blow up your blouse and keep it over your uh, mouth and breathe the correct uh, way to where you can just blow it up and use it as a floaty. That way you can just completely float for those four minutes. Now, some people actually just try to tread it the entire time and they make it fine. But most of the time, I just advise you, especially if you're a bad swimmer, to not do that. You just use the blouse method. It's gonna be the easiest way to be successful for it. So there's that. I believe they also have you um, they have like this pack that you can use as a floaty. And on the next test, you're gonna jump in the water. You can just hold on this pack and swim with the other hand or the other arm, like 25 meters, literally one of the easiest parts of the test. And you have that support the whole time. So there's really no way you can really fail this part. And that's what you're gonna uh, do next. And then you're also gonna have, where you put on a you're, you put on a helmet, which is a Kevlar, a flak, and you're gonna have a rubber M16 fake M16, they're gonna have you stand in the water with that gear, bend over, take it all off, put your hands in the air, air that you had, that you completed the task and that you got all the gear off while underwater. Um, that one's also pretty easy. It's pretty hard to fail that one. So you don't really have to be a great swimmer in order to pass swim qualification. It's really not that hard. Um, also, when you get into it right away, they really don't teach you how to swim. Um, that they're not going to do that. Like they're just going to throw you in there and not just physically throw you in there, but just make you go and do it. And if you fail, like if your foot touches the ground, they have all these instructors watching you. If your foot touches the ground, uh, the bottom of the pool or anything like that, they're going to toss a floaty and they're going to tell you to get out and you, they're going to be, if you failed a specific task, they're going to teach you in a more slow, like actual calm manner not just screaming at you completely, but they're gonna actually go through the steps and teach you how to swim if you fail it. 
because um, even though it may not seem like that, they want you to pass, even though it seems like they hate you completely and they don't want you to pass. You know what I mean? So they're going to actually go through the steps and teach you. Um, there's this method um, called monkey airplane rocket ship. Um, I don't want to explain it right now, but look it up on YouTube, um, specifically how to do it. Um, if you have trouble with swimming, I recommend you use this method um, on the 25 meters because um, it, it's really easy. It makes it uh, really convenient. So there's that. And um, yeah, so don't worry if you fell it the first time, um, they're gonna take you aside and actually teach you the full method of how to swim, how to pass correctly, and you'll be fine. Now you get, I think if you fail twice and you pass on the third time, you're good to go. But if you fail three times, you're gonna be a drop to the next company and um, have to do the whole week over. So yeah, just don't panic about it. Um, listen to the instructors when they teach you the second time if you fail and um, you'll be fine because there's plenty of guys in my platoon that did not know how to swim whatsoever and still had no problem passing it so um, just don't worry about it and be fine so with my story personally how it went for me as I went obviously they're screaming at you um, it gets kind of intense um, you're stressed out because you're just adapting to the environment and when I got in, they're like, take your glasses off. Um, you can't wear them in the pool, obviously. And my vision is terrible. And if you don't believe me, go back to my other video where I talk about I got disqualified from MAPS and the military in general and had to get a waiver for three months just to get in the Marine Corps because my vision was that bad. So imagine just complete blurred vision um, in an unknown environment at a swimming pool being told to like go all over the place um, and you can't see anything. So that was the frustrating part for me. It's not that I'm a bad swimmer, but it just not being able to see your environment is pretty terrible. So um, mine, I was kind of, I got confident, like um, they have you go through a room, or like a cold shower um, spray, and they spray you down with cold water. So you get used to it um, as you're entering into the pool area. And then you you just grab randomly uh, boots and camis, full camis, put them on quick, and and then they're gonna start you um, in the process of doing swim qualification. And obviously, again, I can't see anything. I apologize for the cut in the video, but um, my phone when I was filming was interrupted. But anyways, back into it. Um, back at swim qual. Um, obviously, I couldn't see the instructors. It was pretty tough trying to adjust to um, what was going on, trying to figure out what was going on. But when I started swim qualification, I just kind of followed behind whoever was in my group. And I was pretty confident about it. I did the diving board thing and I was swimming to the other end. And I almost got to the end, didn't touch anything, was doing pretty fine freestyle, just doing freestyle swimming. And they're like, hey, you get out. And they throw they throw a floaty in the water and like, yeah, you touched the ground or something. I didn't even touch anything. I was doing perfectly fine, but they thought I touched the ground. So I like, I failed that portion and I had to do it over uh, for some reason. So they, they ended up teaching me a method of swimming that was easier and stuff like that for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I went in, went in and finished easy, um, no problems whatsoever. And um, also the blouse um, floaty thing, treading water, that was kind of hard to get it. I kind of lost uh, my breath a few times on it, but I was able to actually catch it and fill up the blouse and do perfectly fine with that. But overall, my experience was just, I didn't have to go back another day um, to complete swim qualification. I got it all done in the first day. Um, so don't worry about it. Don't panic about it. It's really not that bad. Just um, you're gonna think you're gonna fail because they don't teach you at the very beginning. But after you fail the first time, um, they will teach you everything and you'll be perfectly fine and probably pass the first day. So don't panic. As long as you don't panic, you should be good and you'll be able to move on to the next stage and complete swim call um, easily. So hope you all enjoy the video. Um, hope you like that perspective. And hopefully that's enough information that you'll need to answer those questions. Um, if you have any more questions 
about swim qualification, I'd like to answer them. And if you have any more video ideas, just go ahead and comment down below and just give me more ideas to pump out new content. So yeah, um, as always, thank y'all very much for the, the constant support and I'll see y'all next time. Okay.